So far mukhang okay naman. Mukha nag-inflate naman. Good job. Today we are going to unbox this touchscreen intelligent inflation pump. So it's good for cars, scooter, bike and uh, basketball. Pasayin natin itong likod. It says argument. <laughs> hmm. I wonder why they call this argument. But this is the product description. I screenshot nyo na lang. And let's proceed with the unboxing. So I screenshot nyo na lang tong argument na to. So right off the back, I think ito yung kanyang felt na case. So far so good, mga okay naman. And by the way, I'll post the price on the description down below. So this is our uh, instruction manual. And screenshot niyo na lang din. Ito yung kanyang uh, product diagram and also uh, battery information which is very important also screenshot nyo na lang din so far ito yung content I guess na nandito sa loob ng box and this is the instruction for use and technical value technical value okay and warning and inform the user though. <laughs> so without further ado, let's put this out of the box. I think um, it's hefty. Mong maganda naman yung quality niya at medyo uh, sturdy and the thing. So tingnan na natin yung loob. May kabigatan siyang ponte ah. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is our touchscreen air pump. So I wonder how powerful this air pump is. So ang sabi rito is, kaya niyang mag-pump ng car. So let's see about that. I-on natin. Hold press the power button. Ayun. The interface niya. So check natin instruction manual. Yun. So meron pa pala rito ang box na miss natin kanina sa unboxing. I guess nandito yung pinaka pipe niya, tsaka yung mga nozzle. Let's open this thing up. So yun, nandito nga. Kala ko kulang. <laughs> Sorry. So ito yung pinaka pipe niya. And then yung kanyang nozzle na meron lock. So far... I think mukhang maganda yung quality. Parang maganda naman yung quality niya in fairness. Pati itong tube na ito, itong pipe na ito. Itong hose. Oh, maganda yung quality. So, ikabit na natin. So, 
So, i-screw lang natin siya. Medyo straightforward naman. And I guess itong orange na to is just a protection para dun sa connector. And it has a Type-C charging port. USB to Type-C. And then ito yung mga extra nozzle. Check natin kung para saan itong mga to. So, this one, I'm not sure kung para saan. But, this one, I guess, for basketball. Paano ba ito? We'll figure out natin later on. But, this one, I'm sure for basketball and volleyball and soccer balls. Ayan. So, this one, I'm not sure what's this for also. Siguro sa ibang type ng tires ito. Well, at least we have options. And I think this is for balloons. Maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But then again, at least we have options. So, try natin ikabit. So, ito yung nozzle. Para maikabit natin siya i-unlock natin yung clip then pasok natin and then lock so yan it's not going anywhere na so that's how you do it try natin sa ibang nozzle lock and then yan, release so yan nakalock na siya ngayon so that's how you change the nozzle tip ng nitong air pump na ito. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. So far, so good, ah. Parang ganda ng quality niya, in fairness. But without further ado, let's test this pump na. Let's turn this on. There it is. Ay, baligtad. So, meron siyang positive and minus uh, pang change ng value. And we have options here. So, you can see my icon ng car. change natin. So, this is for basketball. Ayan. Meron siyang icon. This is for bicycle. This is for motorbike or scooter, I think. And this is for car. So, meron kang options kung gaano. Wow! Meron siyang flashlight in fairness. So far, it's powerful. Kaya lang malakas yung ilaw natin dito. Kaya hindi masyado makita. But this flashlight is coming handy. Ah, meron din siyang parang ano, ang tawag dyan? Wang-wang. <laughs> Pong mobile. And meron siyang blinker hazard para kapag ka nasiraan ka. So, these are additional options na idinagdag nila. And, yeah, very good. Ang kaling power on yun, nakagulat. Malakas naman yung pressure ng hangin, yung fairness ha. I don't expect this to be this strong. Ito yung pressure para sa basketball. Try natin sa bicycle. Well, anyway, testing natin yun sa actual later on. But so far, ang ganda ng quality niya. Yung itsura niya and it looks sturdy. 
So, testing na natin ngayon. Kabit natin dito sa ating bike. Medyo mababa na nga yung inflation ng ating uh, tire. So, it's about time uh, to use and test this. Ito na natin itong muscle. So, medyo ingat ako rito sa pagkabit dahil ang tendency is kapag ka hindi pa siya nakalak uh, may tendency na sumingaw yung ating tire so pagkapasok ng nozzle dapat ilak natin agad ayan so medyo malambot na yung gulong natin eh. this good timing to test this pump and as you can see nasa 15 yung gauge uh, sa loko yan Let's see kung hanggang saan ang inflation na uh, mapapadjust na itong ating uh, air pump. So yan, mukhang pumapasok naman yung hangin so far. Medyo maingay nga lang siya as expected. So we're reaching 15.5. So, medyo matigas na yung gulong And natatakot na ako Baka ma-overinflate So, sa 32 gauge I-stop na natin So, actually Technically, 31.5 Ayan But so far, so good ah Ayan, testing naman natin Dito sa ating car so again dapat mabilisan dahil may tendency na sumingaw kapag ka hindi pa siya na ilalak so ang current pressure ng ating tire is 30 let's try Ay, hindi pala. Ayan. 20.5. Ito yung icon is nasa ipapun sa icon ng ito.
ganyan yung speed up ng video para matest natin kung nakita nyo rin kung gano'n katagal kaya mag-pump and also ito yung isang problem na nakikita natin yung software Let's see, hanggang gano'ng kataas? 2.5 So, 2.5 ang gauge na maximum para sa tire ng car So, reset natin sa zero and then inflate natin itong uh, back tire ng ating kotse So again, mabilisan na naman yung approach. Pagpasok, lock natin agad para hindi sumingaw. So ang current gauge ng ating tire is 21 or 2.1, 2.15. So this is our front tire. Medyo mas malambot siya dahil um, as you can see mas naka-elevate yung rear tire natin and mostly lahat ng pressure nandito sa ating front tire so despite the fact na mas matindi ang pressure dito sa front tire natin I think kung kaya kaya naman ang ating pump and it's going to reach 2.5 so far so good sa so, 2.4 na tayo Medyo hirap siya dahil mas mas na bigat ang pressure dito. Dahil elevated na yung level ng floor sa ating parking. So medyo struggle pa siya na ma-reach yung 2.5. So yan. It reached 2.5 already. Good job. try naman natin dito sa kabilang side ng front tire medyo tricky to kasi itong uh, kabilang side na ito ay medyo may defect na mamaya I'm going to show you clip and lock so 21.5 ang actual ang current gauge ng ating uh, left front tire let's inflate this again again hindi ko ikakat para makita ninyo kung gaano katagal ang uh, inflation ng ating pump so wala naman singaw so far so good walang singaw din sa ating muscle so secured talaga sya so it's reaching 22 or 2.25 na Let's wait until we reach the maximum gauge, na 
it's straight so yan na reach na na yung maximum gauge so ito yung problem na itong ating left uh, front tire sumisingaw siya kapag ka hindi marunong yung magpapump so na experience ko na yan one time I learned the lesson the hard way yan kailangan kasi ipiflip mo yung clip nya dahil sira na itong nozzle na to so kapag ka hindi marunong yung nag inflate lalo na sa gas station may tendency na sumingaw instead na ma-inflate so so far so good I think mo ang okay na yung ma-inflate ng ating uh, pump na test sa ating car and now we're going to roll test we're going to roll test our, our bike kukan natin sa rough road and some other terrains so with that uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much po sa inyo pong pag-inood and I hope you enjoyed our unboxing our demo and somehow review ng ating air pump so ride ride na muna tayo thank you very much for watching and please support this small channel po by hitting that like and subscribe button
portable air pump review.